Hey, what's up guys? It's Ready Engineer here and most of you may know that I've been studying in Taiwan for some time now. Actually, it's been over a year now and in my last video, I talked about what it was like studying mechanical engineering in the first year in Taiwan. That was over a year now and since then, a lot of things have changed. Since then, I picked up electrical engineering, which is an all Chinese program. And if you've been keeping up with my Instagram and Facebook stories, you may be wondering how do I manage all of that madness? Well, in this video, that's what I wanted to talk about. So in my last video that I made last year talking about what it's like studying mechanical engineering in Taiwan, I mentioned that first year is pretty much just a review, especially if you had a background in math and physics. You're covering fundamentals such as calculus 1 and 2, physics 1 and 2, chemi chemistry, etc. So if you're going into first year of mechanical engineering, there shouldn't be any worries because it's pretty easy. For me, it was pretty easy. That's because I did a lot of these courses before and it was really just a review for me. Now, fast forward now a year later, I'm now in second year. I'm doing mechanical engineering and also electrical engineering. I'm doing a double major now. Second year has been quite a challenge. I say that's when the real engineering starts you're doing courses such as mechanics of materials thermodynamics engineering map 1 and 2 and also mechanisms and these courses I can recall off the top of my head because these courses were particularly difficult with that said though a lot of teachers a lot of the professors expect your math level to be so high and that's often not the case so what happens is that when they're going over the problems on the board, they often skip a lot of steps and you often get lost. That has been a problem for me and you'd have to go home and teach yourself a lot of these in between math so that you can, so that you are more able to keep up in class. I often say that most of the coursework is like 30% engineering and 70% math most of these courses are math intensive having a strong background in math will really take you a long way when you're doing engineering courses now for my electrical engineering courses which are at night i mentioned that these courses are taught in chinese and the tests are also given in chinese so a lot of you are wondering how do i manage that especially for those of you that, that has been keeping up with my Instagram and Facebook stories, you often wonder how do I manage this madness? Well, for the most part, everything is in Chinese and I don't understand pretty much <laughs> anything what's going on. But the professors do try their best to translate the main points of the lessons if you go and ask. They also try to translate key points in English that's probably going to show up in the exam so that's what they do as well and whenever i catch that i always pay keen attention because i know this is probably going to show up in the exam another thing i do to work around these the language barrier is to get the english version of the textbook that way i can keep up with the class and not having to worry so much about what's really going on because they're pretty much uh following the textbook anyway so there's been another challenge for me these past semesters and that's the Chinese, uh, not of my electrical engineering courses, but the Chinese language courses. So for graduation, we're required to pass Chinese courses from one up until like uh, six, I think. So every semester we take a Chinese course. So Chinese one, two, three, four, and so I'm in semester four, so that means I'm doing Chinese Four. and these courses have been really really challenging that's because when you're doing this along with your uh, majors it's really difficult Chinese requires a lot of time and attention to practice the characters practice writing the characters practice the grammar and the conversation and that's just that just takes a lot of time and it cuts into your study time for your engineering courses and so the level of Chinese that the professors expect you to know just really isn't there, well, at least in my case. And so what I recommend if you're coming here to Taiwan to study is to do a year of Chinese first, 
before going into your major. That will really save you a lot of stress, trust me. I've seen the students that did a year of Chinese before uh, going into their majors. They're way better off now. Maybe not with the engineering courses, but with the Chinese courses at least, that's one less stress because they already know the content and they seem to just be flying through these courses while I'm here struggling with uh, the Chinese courses, the tests and the quizzes and so yeah, I would say these courses are just as hard if not more difficult than my engineering courses. It just gets harder and harder every semester. That's not really something I'm looking forward to but it's a must if you want to graduate from this school or pretty much I think from any school in Taiwan. That's how second year is going so far for me. Things have really gotten difficult and I've added electrical engineering to my stress so yeah it should all pay off in the end though. Next year I'm going into third year and that means I will be required to do a hands-on project. That's where you get into a group of uh, three people and you go and find a project you can work on over the next two years and you have to submit a report of that project. It's sort of like a thesis uh, but it's more it's hands-on as the um, name implies. So I'm really looking forward to that. The workload will significantly decrease over the next semester as well going into third year as you will be spending more time with your hands-on project than your actual uh, theory classes. With that said though, the classes that you do get are way, way more advanced. I'm actually doing some third year courses. They're really advanced. Let me just say that. I'm halfway through my bachelor's degree already, pretty much, and time flies so fast. I can just remember the first time I stepped foot here just doing my first year courses, and I kept thinking, oh, this is pretty easy. Engineering is pretty easy. Now look at me now. Yeah, <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And also leave comments in the comment section down below. I plan to make more videos like this in the future, keeping you updated with my adventures doing a bachelor's degree in engineering in Taiwan. Because I know a lot of you are interested in studying in Taiwan as well. So I often get a lot of questions on what it's like to study in Taiwan what's the cost of living etc and I know I didn't answer some of those questions in this video I'm gonna do some of those in another video but for now you know but again thank you for watching and I'll see you next time